NSW, what's the worst thing that's happened at your family gathering? My brother throwing a temper tantrum at age 30, it has been pretty common for him to blow up about little crap all his life. It was his youngest daughter's second birthday and he was in a bad mood all day even though our mom and his wife had taken care of everything. It came to a head when it was about time to do the cake. It was a kind of tall cake with a carousel on the top. The dog bumped into the table and the cake shifted a little, almost knocking the carousel over. He stood up and said something like, God damn it, your freaking dog is ruining everything. My mom said, calm down, the cake is fine. He got in her face and said, don't tell me what to do be at that point my brother and stepdad got up and kind of surrounded him ready to kick his ass. He after a few seconds he finally stormed out of the house and left. I feel the need to reiterate at this point that he was 30 years old and it was his daughter's second birthday. I am floored that someone like this duped someone not only into marrying him, but breeding with him. Great grandma's funeral in Arkansas. I have some distant third cousin, named Stormy again this is Arkansas, and we are all gathered around the grave and as the preacher starts to let us in prayer you hear this awful noise. Every turns to look and there is Stormy swinging an armadillo around his head by the tail. One of my other cousins got him to put the armadillo down so we could finish the service but I don't recall ever having seen him at another family gathering since then. My stepmom never got along with her sister-in-law, brother's wife. They got into a fist fight one Thanksgiving at my grandparents house. Grandma got mad and called the police. My dad was a police officer at the time. Guess who showed up to arrest his wife and sister-in-law. Thanksgiving about 1985. Family gathering at my parents home. Mom, dad, brother, sister, grandmas, aunts, uncles, cousins, etc. All watching football. Cousin picks up the remote to mess with the volume, but turns on the VCR on accident. Full blown Pino fills the screen. Dad leaps, grabs the remote and fumbles frantically to turn it off. Bible thumper brother and sister in law snatch up their kids and leave. Cousin says, boy, that sudden death can really get intense. This is like the equivalent of two kids playing with a gun they think isn't loaded. Always clear the chamber dad. Grandma died sitting on the couch and we all thought she was sleeping so we went on with dinner. We all ate drank and were merry until the wee hours of the morning until somebody tried to wake her up. Nobody knew what to think about the fact we partied next to grandma's corpse for like 6 hours. I watched it happen and it was awful. My cousin was pregnant from a guy who she had only been dating for a few months. But he was a good guy. On Christmas Eve she invited him to our family gathering and when we were exchanging presents he grabbed a small box from the tree and was 2 seconds from getting down on one knee when that uncle jokingly says. God I hope you're not proposing everyone laughs and this poor guy is in a half bent knee half standing pose and just looks up at that uncle and slowly powers through it and slowly gets down on one knee and proceeds to ask her if she'll marry him. She said yes and they're engaged but it was one of the worst 45 seconds of my life. Cheers to the first heartwarming worst story I've seen so far in this soul crushing thread. My grandmother tried to shoot herself in the front yard because my mother wouldn't let me and my siblings, 6, 4 and 2, ride sitting on the back hood of my uncle's classic convertible during their neighborhood 4th of July parade. She was angry that no one would be able to see our outfits if we were seated inside the car and while trying to shoot herself accidentally grazed my grandpa in the process. Good times. I'm going to pick my favorite stories from this thread and write a Wes Anderson style dark comedy about a dysfunctional family. This crap is gold. Oh I have one. This happened like a week ago at a little get together of family at my house. My brother in law and his wife got into a huge argument about their new baby's medical care. The little one had a terrible case of psoriasis and he blamed his wife for not staying on top of it causing it to bleed. During this shouting match Bill declared that if he was going to be raising some other man's baby, he was going to be calling the freaking shots from then on. They have been married for 10 years, and have two other girls. We were all so mortified. We left my house. 10 other people got into cars and went to the park. Crap is to get pretty awkward before you leave your own house to make things better proposed to my girlfriend at my birthday party and she said no then told me she had been cheating on me. This was post cake. Bullet dodged. Think of it this way, at that exact point in time, that was probably one of the best outcomes. 
During Christmas with the family we discovered the hard way that my little sister, who was 3 years old, was prone to febrile seizures. Everyone was freaking out while my little sister was blue and foaming at the mouth. My coolest grandparent had a seizure. I was in late high school at the time and had to take all the little kids upstairs and distract them while everyone else waited for the ambulance, etc. I remember trying to teach them to count to 10 in Japanese because I just learned in school and it was the only thing I could think of to pass the time. Good on you for helping in a stressful situation. Aunts, uncles and dad start arguing over my grandfather's possessions after his passing in his house after his funeral. Lots of yelling, pushing, get the frick out that day. Eventually pulled my dad out of the house in an effort to save the family. They never recovered. My uncle passed away without ever speaking with my dad again, and the others speak a bit to each other but we haven't had any family events. It's been 3 years. Thanksgiving back in 1998, I was 8 years old and my wealthy grandparents decided to take the whole family to Maui for the week. This included our 5 person family and around 15 extended family members. All was great until Thanksgiving dinner. My older cousin started bickering which turned into a pretty big altercation and some food throwing. 8 year old Meowd is loving it until the uncles get involved. My 18 year old male cousin who was a total asswipe starts freaking out at my 15 year old female cousin. Calling her a W for reasons unbeknownst to me. At this point, female cousin's dad comes flying over and punches his nephew so hard that literally is thrown a few feet and nearly knocked out. Now the other uncle has to defend his son which results in a few punches between those two until my family can separate them. There will never be a better Thanksgiving dinner, and my grandparents will never take us anywhere again. We gathered at my grandma's house, where my mom and all her sisters had been raised, my oldest aunt had done a bunch of dodgy stuff to glom all the estates and the sisters had come in force with their husbands and kids to try to talk sense into her. It did not work. They should have lawyered up but this was the 60s. Heck. I don't know why they were all so weak. All of us cousins had been kicked outside while the grown ups argued. I was just a little kid and I went in to get a glass of water. She had put locks on the cupboard. Mean aunt came in and slapped me across the face so hard I was staggered. I did not get water. One of my older cousins found me crying and took me to town. Riding on his shoulders part of the way to buy me a soda at the drugstore. And a few toys. Many years later my mom told me mean aunt most likely poisoned grandma. And it seems true. That's fricked up. I hope that the mean aunt is never invited to any family gatherings. Well one of my aunts found out her husband was cheating on her with a 22 year old Chinese econ student. He was 63 at the time. So there's that. My mother in law's boyfriend randomly. Out of nowhere just says. In case anyone was wondering. I'm against gay marriage. My mother in law. To her credit looks at him and just said. Did anyone ask? It was an awkward couple of minutes. Dude wanted a fight. My alcoholic uncle got so drunk at his own daughter's wedding that he pee on the wedding cake in front of half the wedding party. He quit drinking after that. Hey you drunk old frick. Relatives showing off their weird looking baby and people trying to not say anything awful about it. Being one of the first to greet them. And thus having no warning. All I could come up with was oh. That's a baby. I guess no blood was spilled but I felt like dirt afterwards. This is any event with a new baby. I luckily missed this Christmas cause me and my mom and dad were in Disney. My great grandma had a dog. Can't recall what it was but it was super small. Since before I was born. Well one Christmas everyone is eating in the kitchen with a clear view of the dog in the backyards. In the middle of Christmas dinner a big doberman came into the backyard and ripped the little dog's throat out. Kind of ruined Christmas. My grandmother threw her prosthetic breast at me. I was watching the American football game during Thanksgiving while my relatives, mostly female, were sitting at the table within view of the living room. Suddenly, I hear, hey, name and as I turn to look in that direction, this blob comes at me and I reactively catch it. They start laughing and I realize that I'm holding my grandma's boob. Never has a breast been rejected by my hand so quickly. We had a huge family dinner at a very fancy restaurant. My great aunt decided to move a very fancy pot of flowers with some peacock feathers stuck in it out of the way. In this case, out of the way meant right above the candles. 
It turns out peacock feathers burn incredibly fast and produce a lot of smoke. The whole restaurant had to be evacuated. To be honest, it wasn't really that bad. The dinner had been incredibly boring. 14 Yomi certainly thought the fire made things more interesting. 14 Yoyu was right. My extended family ostracized my parents. There was a big rift in the family between one of my uncles and my mom. He is very manipulative and all around a huge butthole. But they decided to sit down and gave my dad an ultimatum. Either it is them or my mom. My dad grabbed my mom by the hand and left. Never looked back. A dead rat inside the water tank. This one day we woke up in a relative's house after a gathering night. We found the morning water tasted weird, so my cousin and host checked the water tank. The rat was floating there. Everyone in his house headed to the hospital instantly. Well, we have a family reunion annually in Virginia for some distant relatives on my mom's side. No one in my immediate family has attended until about 7 years ago when my mother started driving my grandma to the reunion. Dad says that we could make it a family trip, but mom brushed the idea off. My parents divorced 5 years ago, and the next year mom somehow cons me into attending the reunion with her and her new boyfriend. Everyone at the reunion already knew her boyfriend. Turns out she had been taking him up to our family reunion for the last few years with my grandma. I'm starting to believe my grandma never cared for my dad all that much. My grandma was staying over with us at my parents house on Christmas Eve. The evening went great, and everyone was happy. Right as everyone's going to bed, my grandma starts throwing up in her bed, saying she feels horrible. But she doesn't want us to call an ambulance because she doesn't want to trouble anyone on Christmas Eve. She's like the epitome of a sweet old lady. My parents called an ambulance anyways. And good thing, because it turns out she was having a heart attack. She lived, ended up having a quadruple bypass, followed by a full recovery. Our Christmas miracle. She's still alive and kicking, and still smart as a whip. A cougar showed up and we had to lock ourselves inside the house with a shotgun until the cops arrived. I thought you were talking about your aunt. My 60 year old aunt showed me her new boobies and told me she'd take my V card and show me what good pee feels like. She did this at the dinner table. Introduced to her distant cousin for the first time who was a 10, she was beautiful, and I was told that she was deaf. I had never met a deaf person, we were both 15 years old. I shook her hand and said to my brother who was standing next to me, she is a babe. She started to laugh. I read lips, she said. Holy crap, when I first read that comment I thought you meant she was 10 years old was celebrating an uncle's birthday and we realized about 15 minutes into it that grandma died. Everyone lost their mind, because she was 75 and seemed fine 10 minutes before. Died of a massive brain aneurysm. Whole family was devastated. I still took some cake. Christmas dinner. Grandpa picked up something at the store that wasn't what grandma asked for. Grandma threw frozen chicken at grandpa's head. Grandpa ducked. Chicken hit glass patio door, shattering it. Police were called, children were quickly taken and driven home, and grandma wonders why most of the family doesn't make much of an effort to stay in touch. I used to live in Mauritius and there, fireworks are legal, like you can buy them anywhere and play with them any time of the year. Now there are certain dates where a lot of fireworks are used, New Year's of course, Holy, Indian festivity, as well as Diwali, also Indian festival. Anyways, my whole family is of Indian origin and we celebrate Diwali every year. I normally live in a house that includes 4 families and a total of 16 people but during Diwali, everyone directly related comes which amounts to roughly around 45-50 people. We are outside around 9pm when it's already dark outside and we are playing with fireworks. And the kids are enjoying themselves when we decide to use a specific firework. Looks like a rocket. You put it in a standing bottle and light it up. It will go high up in the air and explode. So we put one in a plastic bottle and just before it goes up, the bottle wobbles and starts falling and the firework goes straight into the neighbor's only open window. The neighbor got a house of two floors with about a bazillion windows. All closed except one and that's the one that it aims. We watch in awe and horror as it goes straight into the room with the window open and after 1.5 second the whole room lights up followed by a big bam. I crap you not. I never saw 50 people go through a small door so quickly. Here we are. At 9pm. 
50 people poking their heads out from behind the curtains looking at the window scared shitless. The next day, we didn't come out before at least 12. My grandmother had a heart attack after Thanksgiving dinner. She lived. About 12 years ago we were all at my uncle's house. Me, my siblings, parents, grandparents, and obviously my aunt and uncle. Grandpa was drinking some coffee with dessert when it went down the wrong pipe and he choked up a bit. My mom, being one of the biggest overreactors I've ever known assumes he's having another heart attack. He has a history of heart trouble, and flips the frick out. When my aunt tried to intervene and say that he wasn't having a heart attack and only coughing because of the coffee they got into a screaming and shoving fight. Eventually my uncle just goes get the frick out of my house. Get the frick out now. 10 minutes later we're all in the car and out of there. Up until last year they cut off all contact with my aunt and uncle and fairly recently they've talked to them, added them on Facebook, invited them to events, etc. WTF. This is like a scene from the Home Alone family. I used this car to get your attention. Like the video to be a cool kid. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.